Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. And this is another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. Now, I'm sure as the name already has given it away, as it always does, I'm going to show you how to reduce noise using Photoshop Elements. Now, let's face it. At times, you're going to take your camera and you're going to bump that ISO level way up. And you're going to come home. You're going to say, wow, my pictures have noise in it. And maybe the only editor you have is Photoshop Elements, which is fine because you can reduce noise by using Photoshop Elements in the editor. It's a very, very simple task. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, what we're going to do is we are going to duplicate this background by doing Command or Control J. And what we're going to be looking at today is up on this roof here. I shot this at ISO 4000 with my D7000 Nikon camera. So we are going to first bring this picture up so you can see this noise. And you can see right here along this beam, you can see the noise coming through. And the noise is just any artifact in your picture is basically what noise is, is when it picks up these little so-called bumps or pixelations. And sometimes this is color noise and sometimes it's just noise itself. Irregardless, you have to clean this up, especially if you're shooting a wedding in low light situation. You may want, you know, you don't want noise on the bride's gown because it's going to look kind of funny. So let's go ahead. First of all, we're going to duplicate the background image, which we have done. We're going to go under filter and noise, but don't use the reduce noise filter because it doesn't seem to work really, really well. What I would rather use at this point, first of all, is dust and scratches. So I'm going to come in here with dust and scratches and you can already see on the beams right here at the top where it already looks pretty good. Now where I like to run these settings at is exactly what it is. Radius of two pixels. If you get it much higher, everything will start to blur together. If you see here, look at how much it's blurring together that picture. So we want it to be very, very subtle. So two or a three is pretty good. But we're going to go to two because we're going to do one more step with this picture to get the noise out of here. The threshold, you can bring this threshold up and capture, capture more noise or bring it down. I tend to keep this threshold also about uh, maybe about two, uh, two to three. And there we go. So let's click OK. And that's going to lock that in. You can already see now how we got a lot of that noise out of there. It's already starting to look more like a normal beam there, right? Like these other beams back in here. So let's go ahead now. I want to go to filter. And we're going to do a blur to finish this off. And we are going to do a Gaussian blur. And this is your Gaussian blur. We're going to bring this filter over here. And it also, I used to like to keep it around two. If we bring this up too much, watch what starts to happen. Everything starts to blur out. Next thing you know, you look like you have everything way out of focus. So it's got to be very subtle. That's the problem when people start fixing their pictures. They start to get to the point where they just, you know, overdo their editing. And it starts to look really, really fake. So there it is at 2. We're going to click OK. And now we're going to roll this picture back in. You can see now where all that noise is pretty much gone. And when you roll the picture back out to normal size, it looks really nice and cleaned up. Let's look at this noise here one more time. I'm going to bring this beam back up here so we can see it. Let me turn off my edits up here. You can see all the noise and the artifact in there. Click that. Now you can see all the noise is gone. It's a very, very subtle edit. And when you blow this back out or when you zoom this back out to normal size, you can once again see that that is very, very much cleaned up. Folks, I'd like to invite you over, if you haven't seen my new site, The Photography Guy, it's at thephotographyguy.net. You can go over there, and if you sign up for a free account, you will get a free white paper. And if you've never seen one of those, it is uh, basically a paper you just bring up. You can uh, look it on a computer. It's a PDF. But it is the 7 Steps to Better Photography. So check that out. It's free of charge for you. And if you want to subscribe to one of the uh, subscription models there so you can get a bunch of uh, other videos uh, that I have on there, you know, as the uh, uh, gold member type content, as many sites do, you can sign up for either a one-month, six-month, or a 12-month subscription. 
Thank you very much for watching this episode of Jack's Tech Corner, and I'll see you back on the next video. Take care and good editing. Bye for now.